Okay, what I have here is a uh, maglev motor where you elevate the rotor using a magnetics and repulsion. And I did it a little different way. Um, usually you use a ring magnet on the bottom and a ring magnet on the rotor to push against one another to lift the rotor up off the off the base of the stator. But this time I'm just using these button magnets. They're 15 millimeter button magnets. They're craft magnets. You get them in the craft store. And I built it up on cardboard. And um, what I've got here is a little uh, reed switch driver that um, activates and makes the rotor go roundy round. And it looks like this. Very simple uh, reed switch with a coil of wire capacitor preloaded with uh, some juice from a battery. But I wanted to show this. Um, I'm going to take this apart here. Um, this thing runs for a long time with no driver on it. I, I raised it up so now it's got a lot of friction, but if I put this down here and I just spin it, this will go for a long, long time. And I thought that was rather interesting, so I thought I would give this video on this different method of using a... Uh, um, button magnets to levitate a rotor using magnetism. This is, and how it's set up, it's set up with um, all north on the base. These are all north facing. And then on the rotor, you've got north on the inside and south on the outside. I like that. These are south and then north all the way around. And it runs in this magnetic bubble and I thought this was pretty darn interesting, so I thought I would make a video of, uh, it's almost like a magnet motor. Um, if you're really, really good at your construction, this thing floats pretty darn well in that magnetic field. And then, like I say, if you build up a little driver unit, you can drive it on, on very little. I had it running on a solar driver. Uh, quite nicely yesterday, but anyway, that's uh, the latest I've done here is this one of this little maglev motors. Thanks for watching